it was exactly three years ago, mid pandemic, when I took the decision to uh, leave my life of a network and security engineer behind, quit VMware and join a small startup called uh, Vercada. And um, the whole idea behind it is that I was very interested in their value proposition of bringing all of these things that you use to secure and manage your building under the same umbrella, giving it a modern feel, something that, um, interestingly, to this date cannot be replicated. And although I can stay here and reminisce about the exciting times and the challenges of being part of a small company growing, I wanted to focus more on how the product has evolved because looking back at some of my original demos, I actually have a uh, short recording of it, uh, I realized that everything has changed and not only in uh, new product lines and hardware, but also features and how everything joins up together. So. If you are a camera customer and you go into access control or sensors or alarms, everything has the same look and feel. And that is actually the, the main uh, driver of growth for Vercada and why we uh, keep increasing our customer base. Because most of these features, if they're not hardware related, they will be served to you free of charge just by an automatic firmware update. So. Fun enough, the day you buy a Vercada product, it is actually at its worst. In order for me to share with this, I'm gonna play you this uh, very quick two minute video. It is accelerated because I did trim down a lot of it and uh, obviously I did take the sound off. So I will be speaking on top of it just to explain a few things. This is how command used to look like. As you see here, we have the tab for access control on one side and cameras and the sensors are all bundled into one. Uh, and for those of you who already have seen camera demos, you probably see that the core values of finding the footage really fast and archiving it and sharing it were there to uh, start with. Scrubbing through footage was always very easy and was one of the uh, main pillars of, of uh, Vercada as a platform. Now, we did have a person of interest uh, where you can uh, upload the face and get notified when that particular person is seen across any of your cameras and the ability to get alerted over email and SMS. We did have access control. We had the one uh, AC41 single door controller and uh, you could uh, manage your users very easily through the single pane of glass, attach different credentials and even allow them to use a Bluetooth unlock with the AD31 reader looks very, very different. If you're new to Vercada, you probably have not seen one of these uh, before. And you could, uh, with the help of the video integration, understand exactly what is happening to give you that context uh, in case, uh, for example, you will have uh, an incident uh, at a particular location that is tied to a certain door. We used to do uh, different types of unlocks. You couldn't really unlock with uh, license plate recognition as of now. And uh, some of the basic functions that are still retained today in access control were there. We did have one sensor, the SV11. It did have uh, this same idea of collapsing multiple pieces of information into one, allowing you to set your alerts and also tie in a camera. And in case something happened, you'd obviously have the context and understand who was there at that particular time. And funny enough, that was it. Um, I have to say that probably it was much easier to ramp up and understand how to do these demos three years ago because we didn't have uh, the amount of features and products that we have today. So let me recap on a very high level some of the changes that have happened in the platform. And obviously, I'm sure I've missed a lot of features, but these are some of the ones that uh, personally I felt that allowed us to evolve the platform for something that's good for uh, SMBs and schools to something that now is deployed in retail, hospitality, manufacturing, and large enterprises. And I start with the idea that Vercada is more than a camera or an access control company, right? We are the operating system of a modern building. And since I joined three years ago, now we have six, not three product lines, adding alarms, intercoms, and workplace, which bundles our guest and mailroom products 
together. And besides that, we have spent a lot of time to make sure that these products look and feel the same. So long gone are days in which setting your alerts on a sensor will be different from access control and they all live in different tabs. Uh, everything looks and feels the same, meaning that for you, it will be much, much easier to learn the platform as you utilize multiple products. A lot of the core functionality is uh, still there, especially using the camera as a way to get context, not only when it comes to alarms, where you can use the cameras to detect people, trigger alarms, video verify, and also provide context to the authorities in case there is a live incident in progress, but also guest and mail room, where now you have full accountability of anybody who's visiting a particular location, where have they been, uh, and also where those uh, often lost packets have been placed. We have done monumental steps for each product to evolve not only the hardware, but also to add the features that are essential for an enterprise. Take cameras, for example. Not only we have added different types of hardware to address more customer use cases, think about the multi-sensors or the PTZ camera, but we have also added different software features. For example, the latest generation's cameras have new Rambarella chipsets allowing you to identify people and vehicles even if they are not close to the camera. On top of that, these chipsets allow us to do a lot of the AI and analytics on the camera itself, meaning that for you, you won't require as much bandwidth and the results themselves would be much, much faster. One of the examples I like to use here is license plate recognition that when I joined was done mostly in the cloud but now has moved on the camera utilizing an algorithm that's built in house. And that actually allowed us to build further down the line, access control unlock. And although finding footage was relatively easily three years ago, we have gone above and beyond to add those functionalities that VMS power users require when they do their incident management even creating a page in which multiple admins can correlate different pieces of footage, add their notes and present it as a individual unit. But this software and hardware evolution is also present on the other product lines. So for sensors, for example, we started the SV11, now we are on the second generation and not only have three different sensors to choose from in order to balance performance and cost, but also you are be able to monitor and report on other metrics, such as, for example, CO2, carbon monoxide, light levels, and different types of particulate matter. In addition, you can now analyze the data, not only in real time, by plotting it into different dashboards that have the look and feel that you desire, uh, but also look at it over the long term with a historical view of the last 12 months, giving you an idea if the types of incidents that made you install those sensors have actually gone down. When it comes to access control, we've introduced multiple options as well, going for a 16 door and a single door controller to give you that flexibility depending on where you want to place them and also how big your particular building is. We have undergone multiple software iterations to allow you to do a clean in and out badging, uh, license plate recognition unlock, tailgate detection, and also fire alarm integration. On top of that, just a few months ago, we announced the APIs for access control. So not only you'll be able to get reports on who's in the building, when did they last badge in, et cetera, but you also be able to provision them automatically just in case you're not able to use SKIM, the protocol that allows you to connect Azure AD and Okta and synchronize your users together. And um, think about APIs themselves, this is something that when I joined was only focused on the cameras and now span across our entire portfolio. So. Think about sensors. You can use APIs to extract data from the sensors. And if you're actually using a automatic HVAC system, you can actually make the sensor transmit these readings in real time over the local area network. So now you can manage the buildings with the data points that these devices give you. 
And although I'm running out of time and I'm not able to tell you more about alarms and guest mailroom, I do recommend you check some of the videos that I'm posting regularly on my channel so you get to understand more in detail about how these products work. If this sounds interesting, my recommendation is to look at our webinar page. I'm going to drop a link below in the comments as well. So if you want to look at the webinar and see if uh, Verkada can help your business. And uh, if so, uh, get a trial. It's free of charge. Uh, you have it for 30 days and you can introduce these devices in your environment and see uh, if they can help your business. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can.